Hi, in this video, I will show how to define your variables and objects in a way to avoid mutation and why you should do it mostly all the time. First of all, let's get out of our way the declaration of var. In 2020, there is no usage of var that is justified. I will not spend much time on the keyword, but it hoists the variable and cause more problems any game. Now, let and const are the two contenders that have eradicated any use case of var. That being said, there is still an ongoing debate on when using let and const. It is simple, use const all the time, until you need to mutate. I honestly use const 95% of the time, if that is not more. The two uh, times that I know on top of my head that I use let is when I iterate in a for loop. That is a case where the value will change, or if it can happen if a variable that is getting transformed inside a function, like con concatenating string. The second case is when I define a variable in a unit test that is used by many tests, which the value change in the initialization of the test and reset between them. Here is a fake example that illustrates the usage. Of course, I am not saying that let is useless, but more that you should lean to const first and then see when it blocks you. And for those that says that it is one additional keystroke, I would say that during your whole day, there is probably many other occurrences of time that are not optimized, that are way worse than the 10 milliseconds that it takes to type the additional letter. Why are you relying so much on cons? Because it indicates that the value won't change. It ensures that we are not mutating during the the variable, which is often in the life of the scope that is the most of the, the function. It clarifies, or should I say, remove to have to start and to think about where the value could change. Also, it encourages having a smaller function. By that, I mean that if you divide into many functions that return a value with the form the variable value that you do not have to do any mutation, or in our case, using let. In the example, I am not using any let. We could have another function taking the display name string and do stuff without using let as well. Indeed, the previous example can be altered using let, but it wasn't required. One detail that bothers a few folks are a const variable on an object only protect against reassignment the value of the object and still let the inner fields of the object to be mutated. In the example, we can change the ID because the field ID is not a const. Actually, it is not possible to have the field const, and for that, we will need to rely on read only. However, the usage of const allows us to ensure that we do not reassign the value to the object, like the commented code. The usage of read-only is also possible to ensure fields to be frozen in time. In this example, the person type is not having read-only fields. As you can see, TypeScript does not allow redefining the field in design time. The case that we are not covering here is that we may start with an object that we want to change and mold to a shape that we want, and then having this one frozen. If you are using React and Redux, it is the case. With Redux, we want to have an object that are not mutated once the Redux is inside the Redux store. Without going into too much detail, we can use the copy object destructing or object.assign. The problem is once you do the copy, the values inside the object is still mutatable. While they have a difference reference, meaning they are separate entity, and changing won't change the other it is still possible for an engineer to change the value. For example, the house is created and we do have a copy at line 15. Changing the ID is possible at line 16, but does not change the original value. The next example, modify the previous example with a new method type and a function. Instead of directly forming a copy, 
we create a function that does the copy and then return a type that will block any engineer to modify the object. It is not a perfect copy since the object of the object are still reflecting the same object. But it allows to block any mutation on the copy, which is good for most scenarios. If I uncomment line 22, 23, and 24, we will see that TypeScript mentions that we cannot modify the properties. The limitation is that we do not deep copy. Hence, modifying the original array will modify the copy. Line 25 prints the new element in the array even though the assignation of the new room was done at line 34 to the house 1. At that point, we start deviating from the main subject of content left. However, it was a glimpse into some working with read on in collaboration with const to have a code stricter into when to be modified. In this episode, we had an emphasis on using const to have a code that is easier to understand and maintain by marking variables to not be third further down its life. The subject of mutation in deep copies will be discussed in a future episode. Stay tuned. Please consider subscribing to have future videos to your YouTube homepage. And if you appreciate the content, to like this video. See you soon.